it's Francis from Your Book of Memories. I've got another project to share with you guys. Oh my gosh, I created a gatefold folio using Photoplay Real Genius by Tracy Smith. Tracy, you've outdone yourself, love your color scheme, love your artwork, and if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to make this paper work in this book, <laughs> okay? It was just, it turned out fantastic. So where did I get this paper pack? <laughs> okay, where can you get it? I'm obsessed with Photoplay right now. I got this scrapandcreate.com with a capital N between the scrap and the create. So Daphne, thank you so much for sending this paper collection. It comes with the 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheets, okay? Alpha, and it's got the super cute images dedicated to matching with the collection, so that's awesome. We got four by six cutouts, four by four, and three by four with some border strips. This was so fun to make. I got a gatefold folio out of it and another cute small project that I'll be sharing tomorrow. So look how, adorable these things are. Well, you're gonna see them throughout the book, but look at that. That's all I have left over. And this paper collection only comes with 12 double-sided pages. You wouldn't believe what, you know, I totally stretched this uh, collection out. But I did use um, some colored, <laughs> solid colored cardstock in this paper pack, okay? Along with it, and you'll see that. So here on the front cover, this is like a really deep gray very like a charcoal color and I needed to add it because I was running out of paper but it worked out perfectly because it reminds me of a chalkboard and so we got the super cute little sticker you'll see that throughout the entire book I've mounted all the stickers on cardstock fussy cut around them that way we can create tuck spots and stuff like that I do have a tutorial already on the basic construction of this book but I did add a couple extra features <laughs> so here on the front cover it's super cute because this was one of the stickers and I made this a magnet to keep this secured, so that's kind of cool. And then we've got the little pencil shavings. Oh my gosh, and a cute little pencil. Love the little boy and how he has a shaved uh, head on the side. I think that's so cute. And here's the side. This book measures roughly six by eight, okay? And the spines are almost two inches. So about one and a quarter. One and three quarters, excuse me. And there's the back. Unbelievable. So you just remove this, which is awesome, and set it to the side. And when you open this up, you'll notice that there's a big chunky thing here. So let me tip this up so you can see. This is my gatefold folio, okay? Another sticker mounted on some cardstock so you have places to tuck your photos behind. Great four by six photo spot. Strip of design paper and over here I have a super cute little waterfall. Today was amazing, was another sticker. This folds down and you've got awesome space for photos in here. And journaling, super cute. You can hold about 40 photos in here. It's awesome. Look at that super cute music note paper. Oh my goodness, I love it. And I love this constellation paper. Unbelievable, it's got the uh, astrology on it. <laughs> Gemini, that's so awesome. Okay, so over here, we've got these super cute tags, right? So look at this, I use my square punch to do those corners. Got some more of that amazing little ledger paper right there. I love it. And then we got a larger tag behind here. So we got, you know, a small one and a larger one. And then these flip out. I decided to add this super cute ribbon. <laughs> Look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, a little photo spot right there, a little journaling spot. So all of them flip out, which is kind of cute. And then I've got three by four cut aparts in here. A little journaling spot. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute, right? My schedule is booked. Oh my goodness. And then these just tuck right back in there. So that's kind of awesome. I added that cool little feature right there. So when you open this up to the left, we've got this awesome little backpack type of thing here I was going for, a couple stickers. And then it's actually a faux buckle, so I just move it out of the way. And then I pull the ribbon pull tab, and then I open it up. Again, I love how this is chalkboard. It's got a chalkboard feel. And you know what? I found that cardstock in my stash to match this. So it did come with a paper in this paper collection that had a chalkboard um, mat to it. So it does have that kind of paper in here. I just needed to <laughs> get some more. So here are the cut parts. So cute, total expandable pocket. I'm telling you, like a lot. And look at this, super awesome. Great way to keep all the memories for school, for your kiddos, oh my goodness. Hashtag reading goals. G is for girl. <laughs> Something I always say. <laughs> A report card. 
You basically rule, oh my goodness, your attitude determines your direction. Totally true, it takes a big heart to shape little minds. Yes, it does, if I read that correctly. And then this just snaps back like that. So I was kind of going for a backpack type of thing. Again, more stickers, place for a photo, strips of design paper, and then this opens up. And then we've got this awesome four by six landscape waterfall. And I did add a four by four here with another strip of design paper as we go. So super cute science fair, if you could see that. Cute little people. And then we've got homework, assembly, oh yes. Little cute soccer ball and hall pass. <laughs> Look at this adorable paper. I just love these little characters. Okay, so over here, the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. Albert Einstein, unbelievable. Totally what I live by. Super cute little fussy cutting here and a couple stickers. This opens to the left. We've got a place for journaling and a small photo. And then you could definitely tuck stuff under that pencil. Look at how adorable. Got some math going on back there. And then also this. Super cute pullout on the top. I use my Stampin' Up! tab punch for that. A little tab. And there was a super cute little paper clip sticker too. Awesome, little paper bag for lunch. Oh my gosh, I love it. And this is a super cute place for journaling right there with like a chalk marker or something. This opens up again, yes. Look at the backpack, that was probably my favorite. And along with the pencil shavings, I just love that. Place for photo again. And then we got two stacked pockets right here. So, look at that. At least I hope so. <laughs> okay, your future is bright. Oh my goodness, yes it is. And look at this. I included that in the back. So you could include like the whole year of, you know, kindergarten I would think could go in here. Well, I'm just thinking that because of my own son, but you know, you can totally customize this any which way you want. And this closes back up like this. But we do also have an insert in the back. Okay, so isn't that awesome? And that would just tuck right back into here. So look how chunky this is, but everything li lies pretty flat. You see how this comes together? Oh my goodness, and the snaps closed. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to check out scrapandcreate.com, okay? We need to realize that we can get some serious cute paper from their shop, okay? Anyways, I'll leave the tutorial as a link down below and also her shop down below. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. <laughs> Bye.